Okay, so you just got a Google Home Mini for 30 bucks and you have X10 lights in your house, but you want to figure out how to turn them on. Hey Google, living room lights on. Okay, my video is going to show you how to do that. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to control your X10 devices with a Google Home Mini. I'm assuming you already have the X10 devices all hooked up in your home and have been using them, and that you also just got a Google Home Mini. So, the first thing to controlling this is I use the CM19A to transmit the X10 signals from my PC to, doesn't matter what transceiver, but I use this one, the RR501. The first thing you'll need, which you probably already have, is drivers and also the Active Home SDK, which includes the drivers. So we'll start by installing that. We just do a, a Google search. And right here on this first page, you can go to installation package. I already downloaded it, so I'll go there. Okay, you just install this. Next. Right there you can see it's got the drivers for the CM15A, the CM19A, and uh, Video Sender. This will probably also work with the CM15A, but you'll have to change a line later on. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Okay, I will post all the links down below in the description of the video so you can find the SDK and uh, anything else you need. Now the next thing is you're start you're ready to transmit signals over the CM19A to all your modules now. The easiest way I found to do that though is make a batch file for each on off signal to each module so you'll have two batch files per module one to turn it on and one to turn it off if you haven't messed with batch files they're pretty easy i'll show you how to make ones now okay to make a batch file all you got to do is right click on your desktop and go down to new text document it's nothing more than just regular text but you'll save it as a batch file and then windows can run it so we'll open it up now the code that will go in it, I will put also in the description and you can just copy and paste it so it makes it real simple. This will be the code. Copy it. And you can just leave it copied and you can keep pasting it into each new batch file and you'll just have to change a couple things. Okay, so now that the code is in there, it points it to that Active Home SDK that you installed you just got to change your module numbers and on or off here so if you want it to go to house code a module i'll say 11 because that's the room i'm in right now and then i'll have it turn off the light now you just have to save it as a batch file instead of a text file so you hit save as and you will put here i'll put computer room light off but down here I will have to change the dot txt to all files and I can go back up here and I will type in dot bat for batch so now you can see up here it's no it's nothing more than a text file but it looks different because it's gonna run it now and if all went well you have just turned something on or off on your X10 system. Now when you make a, all these uh, batch files you need to turn on and off all your lights, you can get rid of, you can get rid of the regular text document. I suggest you go to uh, your regular C drive and don't go any further than that. Just keep it there, make a, a folder, I call them X10 shorts, and put all your batch files in there so they're all together 
and they're an easy path to find because you may want to use these with something other than uh, the Google Home Mini and it's easier to point it to just C colon slash whatever folder they're in. Okay, now that you got all your batch files made and you can just click on them to control your X10 lights on or off, the next thing is to get the Google Home Mini to run the batch files. And that's where we use a website called Trigger CMD. So I'll also put this, uh, I'll link to this down in the description. And at their website, you can just go to uh, login. Well, the link will probably take you here. Now, if you're a new user, which of course you will be, you'll have to uh, type in new user. Uh, and when you enter the email, don't necessarily use the email that you use uh, to check your emails, like Yahoo. You need the Gmail account that is associated <laughs> with your Google Home Mini because I made that mistake at first and it, it won't link together. So make sure to use the same Gmail as the Google Home Mini. Make a password. Now I'm already, uh, I already have an account so I'm just signing in. And you'll come to a page like this, except you won't have a computer link to it yet. The next step will be to download their client program. What this will do is it'll run on your PC, and when you tell Trigger CMD to send a command, it'll run the program on your uh, on your PC. So I'll also provide a link to to hear the their client software. which is this right here, the Trigger DM CMD Agent Setup, which once again I already have and have it installed. The very first time you go to install this, hit Control plus V, that'll paste it in. Oops. Once it's running, you won't have any kind of window pop up. It will just uh, be down in your system tray down here. You can right click on it and hit the GUI command editor. You won't have any commands yet, this will be blank. This is where you'll start putting in the commands that will point at your shortcuts, or your batch files you made. So you'll start by hitting add command, and you'll want to put whatever action it's going to be, such as computer room off. And then the command will be your batch file. So I go to where my batch files are, which is X10 shorts. You want to, like I said, something simple. I'm going to just copy this. I got to hit Control V to paste it there. And then put slash and then the name of the batch file, which would be computer bytes off dot batch, if that was the name of my batch file. And then this is the, the voice word, which we'll just use as the same as the trigger. Now later on at the end, you won't have to say this exact same voice command because we're going to add shortcuts into the Google Home uh, Home app and you'll be able to say several different things. You can either say computer room lights off, computer 
turn the computer room lights off, whatever, whatever you wanted to say. So just have it give you a general idea here and save that. Now the next thing is to, uh, to test that these will run on your computer, that it's actually pointing to the batch file. So go to whatever you just made and hit this play, it'll run the file. And if your lights either came on or off, you know that everything is working on the computer end. Now we get, need to go to the uh, internet end of it. Now for this, we just go to their website, Trigger CMD. Now you'll see your computer listed here, it'll have the name. We're going to hit View Triggers. Whatever triggers you made on your PC app will also now show up here on their website. Now once again we're going to try it and make sure it still works by pressing the, the trigger button to make sure that this is going from the internet to your PC. So now you can control your lights remotely from this web page and it's interacting with their app on your PC. So from here it's pretty easy. You could actually tell the Google Home Mini to tell Trigger CMD to run computer room lights on and it would run the command but that's kind of a mouthful. So now that this part's done we will go into the uh, the Google Home app and we will make shortcuts so you can say whatever you want to say to run the command. Okay, now for the shortcuts part on the uh, Google Home app. You'll go to your Google Home and you'll go up to settings up here Go down to more settings and now you go down to shortcuts and you will want to add a new shortcut so you'll just hit plus you won't have any of these yet and here's where you type in what you want it to say like uh, to make it simple let's say turn lights on you'll type in turn lights on and once you fill in one of these, more lines will keep appearing, like let's say, turn lights on. Now you can do a, a second uh, phrase, such as lights on. It, you can do, I don't know how many you can do, but you can do quite a few of them. And then down here, the Google Assistant, what it should do, and you will put in tell trigger CMD and you can do that as all one word to run and then you'll put the command the name of the command that you gave it in trigger CMD like uh, computer lights on or whatever uh, let's say lights on and then you will save it. Now you can just, uh, now it should uh, link up with your Google Home Mini and whatever phrase you said, you can talk into your Google Home Mini and it will send this command and it should trigger your, on your PC, to the batch files to turn on and off your lights, whatever you have set up. So hopefully that works. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them or if I need to make another video to touch up on something else.